there is one universal truth about cybersecurity, it's that people are the weakest link. People click on suspicious links, they use weak passwords, they disable software protection features, and they don't install security patches because it's inconvenient. But what if that weakest link could become our strongest? President Trump knows well the power of human capital to build businesses and create new jobs. As he contemplates how to approach cybersecurity in his first 100 days, creating a human talent pipeline should be front and center. Government needs more help securing its computer systems. Recent cyber attacks have made that all too clear, like the hack against the Office of Personnel Management, where millions of people's sensitive personnel records were breached. There are many people with significant technical capabilities who don't have a way to offer that talent in service of our national security. The new administration should develop ways to enlist the private sector's most innovative technologists while keeping them fully connected to their private sector jobs. President Trump could create a cyber incubator in or near Silicon Valley where the technologists could work on national security challenges in teams with government cybersecurity professionals for one to two year stints, returning to the private sector refreshed and inspired. Their government teammates would benefit just as much from their interaction with Silicon Valley knowledge and workflows. Cybersecurity is a unique space where our economic, job creation, and national security goals could all align. By exerting early leadership in this area, President Trump can harness the potential of the internet to improve the lives of all Americans.